Bill's main man, Lucky Lance, you're ready for more. <clears throat> Ponza action is right back for more. Hope you all excited for that. What's up, JD? Fiddle DD. Uh, like I said, my name is Lance, but more importantly, my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTGO, MTGA, and Twitter. So if you want to, you know, give a follow on Twitch, that'd be awesome. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please give this video a, uh, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I think I messed that all up, but, uh, you know, whatever. And you always join me on my little flock of birds there on Twitter. That'd be awesome. And, uh... Yeah, as you can tell, I only play Magic the Gathering. When I play Magic the Gathering, I prefer to play Modern. And when I play Modern, I play one of five decks somewhat coherently. Those five decks currently are Jun, Boros, Burn, Humans, Grixis, Death Shadow, and see screen right now, Group Ponza Mid Range. Group Ponza Mid Range is my uh, favorite deck. It's the deck I've had the most success with, both in paper and online. And it's the deck that you'll be most likely seeing me play the most. Um, you wouldn't know that by yesterday. My God, I, I fell off a cliff yesterday. Uh, but we're back at it again today. Um, so let's do, give a weather check. I always like giving you guys an update. I think it makes you feel like you're with me. You're like, man, I'm experiencing some intense weather. Uh, weather for Ravensdale. Conditions are cloudy. The temperature is 53 degrees. The wind is blowing from the south at 6 miles per hour. The humidity is 83%. Yeah, we had some pretty intense winds a few days ago, a week ago, whatever it was. It blew over my wife's uh, bird, bird bath, shattered that thing. Um, and it was buried pretty deep in the ground. It's not very tall, you know, it was only like, you know, maybe two and a half feet tall. You know, I got to throw that in the trash today. And then there was a huge branch. You know, guys, I live in an old growth forest. I got trees that are 14 feet in diameter on my property. Um, I, I had a, you know, I got a branch that was about, I don't know, I had to pick it up and haul it out today. About 16 feet long, about this big around. I mean, that's a tree branch right there. When it's, I mean, that's massive. Huge! Uh, so anyways, that's what I got to do as soon as I got home from work. A little bit of chores for the beloved husband. Uh, so anyways, uh, let's see here. We are still at 11 followers on Twitter, and guys, we did it for now. We are at 200 followers on Twitch. So guys, thank you very much there. We are still at 323 subscribers on YouTube. So shout out to all 11 followers on Twitter. Shout out to all 200 uh, followers on Twitch. Shout out to all 323 subscribers on YouTube. And of course, a massive shout out to all three of my uh, Twitch subscribers. They're giving me just a little bit of hard earned money. Uh, it's going way above and beyond the Call of Duty. I really appreciate it, guys. I never asked for anything like that. The views are outstanding. I really appreciate the kind comments on the video today. Um, you know, because I'm always so harsh on myself and I always feel like shit when I'm not winning. And I try to keep that, you know, I try to keep positive. I try to laugh and giggle as much as I can. It's just not my personality. I'm a guy that's got to win all the time. And when I don't win, I feel like I've betrayed the world. I've let everyone down. But i gotta, got to just pick myself up by the bootstrap and throw myself back into this arena. Remember, it's always, it's, to me, it's always harder getting back up knowing you're going to get knocked back down. I mean, getting knocked down is one thing, but getting back up to know you're going to get hit again and knocked back down on the ground again, that's always tough. So, thank you guys very much. Um, the list is pretty much the same as yesterday. I did take out that question. Let me put that third Clothis back in. Um, Clothis is arguably the strongest card I can play on turn three sometimes. It's even stronger than Blood Moon because sometimes Blood Moon doesn't do anything, but Clothis usually always does something. Um... So, you know, yeah, I, 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 you know, I missed it, even though I did enjoy Questing Beast. Questing Beast is still good, but I just think that Fury has just kind of replaced as the end-all, be-all of you got to deal with it. The only thing Questing Beast does better than Fury, well, actually, there's a lot of things better. It has Haste, it has Death, uh, death Touch. It does have Vigilance as well. <laughs> what am I talking about? But I think Fury, Fury's overall better card. Um, so, anyways, let's get in here. I left the side the same. I did not put Offset Bailoth or Fracturing Gust back in, even though I did think about both of them. But I'm going to keep trying Ancient Grudge. Uh, one thing I like Ancient Grudge over Fracturing Gust is if in case I run into Tron, against Tron, I cannot bring in Fracturing Gust because I cannot afford to destroy my own Blood Moon. Um, so I've kind of missed it. You know, the card I've really missed a lot against normal artifact decks is Collector Oof, but against Hammer Time, it's just an impossible thing to really run. And face the cigar as aid. What up, Gage? Glad you're here, man. Uh, yeah, the Seahawks lost again. I'm sure you enjoyed that. You know, uh, Russell Wilson scrambling around looking. The Seahawks had seven straight three and outs, which I think is like a record almost. Uh, I mean, that's bad. They've only gotten like 
I think in the last two games, they've only gotten like 10 first downs or something like that. I mean, they're just, they're terrible. But they did, they always make a game out of things. They had to go for two to tie the game send to overtime out of nowhere, and they, they didn't. They failed. Well, we got to play San Francisco next week. It's in Seattle, right? We already played you guys down there. So, uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, I was used to it. You know, people are spoiled because of the last 10 years or even last 20 years. We've been to three Super Bowls in 17 years. Um, but I remember the Seahawks in the 90s were fucking bad, like 2-14. and 14. This team might be the worst team ever. We might end up 3-14. and 14. All right. Uh, yes. Yes, indeed, I'd like to go first. Well, they have no offensive line. They can't do anything. And that is a quality opening hand there. And, guys, I have a special beverage today, a beverage I've never seen before. I went on up to uh, Swinomish Indian Casino up in Anacortes, Washington, and they have a massive tribal um, convenience store. And they have a lot of crazy things in there. And I've never seen this before. I'm really excited to show it off with y'all. It's really not that exciting, but I, I'm pretty stoked. The, the guys get hyped. This is when the official stream starts. We got Fruit Punch Crush. And it's actually sparkling, if you can read that. It says Sparkling Fruit Punch. Look how neat the label is, though. Isn't that cool? Fruit Punch from Crush? Orange Crush is really good. I rarely ever get it. And, uh, you know, but I'm excited to drink this in just a second. I got to look at something. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> let's crack it open. It's the official start. Ari Lax. You know, I hate these ones, guys, that are really suspicious, right? I mean, look at this. Okay. You probably shouldn't drink these. This, this is what's sad now is the cap did not, you guys can't really see it, the cap did not separate from the protection. It, it just, it completely screwed off. You know, so for all I know, this could have cyanide in it. Who the hell's Ari Lax? God damn it. Should I drink this, guys, or should I just grab another different... I, I got more Mountain Dew. I, I'm never out of Mountain Dew. Yeah, I, I think it's just a... All right, well... Oh, I, I don't know who that... I, I haven't paid attention to Star City Games in a long time. Well, I guess if I die on stream, you guys will get some entertainment there. Um, but that sucks. I hate when that happens. Because you're just, yeah, it's just, it just falls right off. Some pre-stream drama here. I might be fucked. Oh, God. That's pretty good. I'm sure every expert in the world just said that if it was cyanide, I'd, ar I'd already be dead. If I was cyanide, I'd already be dead because that'll kill you pretty quick. So it's not cyanide, but God knows what else is in there. Uh, I am going to keep this. I'm going to try and moon him, whoever the hell this guy is, Ari Lax. Some sort of Snorlax. A little bit of drama there, but I think I'm going to be okay. That actually just happened to me not that long ago, too. I bought a Mountain Dew somewhere, and I went to open it up, and the, the seal didn't break. It just, the whole thing came off, and I'm like, ah, fuck it. I've lived a good life. I shouldn't be doing that. I know, and someday I'm going to pay the price for just saying, I need this beverage right now. Big amulet flare? Well, that's getting bolted. Oh, why did I bolt my... Oh, my 
my god, guys. Look how stupid I am. I bolted my own fucking Arbor Elf. Wow. I'm drunk as hell, and I haven't drank one bit of alcohol. That's... That, that's to confuse the opponent. That's to get the con opponent confused as fuck. So, okay, look, I have a backup bolt. But that was pretty bad. That's to confuse the opponent to put more food in the graveyard for Clothis. That is a great epic fail. Is this humans? Well, I can actually kill everything here, so this might actually work out. So we go... Bolt. Bolt the champ. Three damage to everything else. Clothes is actually not very good against humans, honestly. Uh, I like that. Bolt the champ. Swing for one. Look at that. Field cleared, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. I definitely need Blood Moon now. Mantis Rider. I died to Mantis Rider all the fucking time. See, I needed my another, another bolt for that. Scavenging use isn't half bad. I, I kind of want to... I think I'm going to play Scavenging Ooze here. That was the wrong one to do. It is. That's an extremely patriotic creature. Mantis Rider is red, white, and blue. I mean, it doesn't get more patriotic than that. And you, you don't have to be American. You can be French. You can be Russian or something. And be like, oh, I love these Mantis Riders. They remind me of my, my homeland. All right. This is looking... Pretty rough. Why do they always have so many Mantis Riders? That's the thing that's ridiculous. They always have like a million. Well, I obviously have to get, like, basic mountain here. A little late. A little bit late. Now he's got to hope they don't have a Thalia's Lieutenant. Well, it's Lieutenant, I die. Champion, I can handle that. Meddling Mage probably going to name Lightning Bolt. Fury, okay. So I can eat quite a bit here. Play Blood Moon. I have to go back up to what? I, I can't eat enough. Yeah, we just die here. Probably because I bolted my own noble, I mean, uh, Arbor Elf, right?
Alright, I can't. I can't do it. Yeah, if I wouldn't have bolted my own Arbor Elf, I may have been able to win there. But of course, I have to hurt myself as much as possible, because I'm a worthless sack of shit that probably should be shot immediately on spot. I'm surprised no one shot me at Channel Fireball Las Vegas. Like, there he is. Get him. Uh, I don't really have anything on the side anymore for this deck. I don't have Anger of the Gods. I guess Endurance is pretty good. Um, Plummet is so narrow, and I can kill most time Mantis Riders. Uh, I could try, like, one Ancient Grudge. I think we can do that. Well, I don't even know who this guy is. So, I, if I want to embarrass myself in front of him, I will. And I did already. That, that's just another error that would never happen in paper. Yeah, I'll keep this. Looks pretty good, really. Get rent out and be able to maybe shoot down a Noble Hierarch. I mean, it's just, yeah, I, I wouldn't have bolted myself, basically, then I may have been able, because then I wouldn't have had to ditch. Well, I still would have ditched Clothus to Fury, but I had one extra bolt. I still probably would have lost. I don't know. This uh, Crush Punch is pretty good. I've had better punch. I'm not going to lie. All right. Aether Vile. Pretty rough. This is probably going to be like turn two, uh, Thalia's Lieutenant. Or uh, Guardian of Thraven. Got their basic island. All right, let's blood moon them. Probably play season pyro next. Discarding Clothus and Blood Moon. What is happening over there? I'm going to try and play a little bit of everything here. Well, I could play Clothus out. I think it's best just to toss it. Play Clothus. Play Arbor Elf. That's... Six seven devotion already. Ah, man. Well, I wouldn't be able to play Arbor Elf this turn as well. All right, I guess we'll just do season pyro. First play the Arbor Elf, then play the season pyro. Okay, not bad. There it is, there's Mantis Rider. Coming at Ren. Uh... 
I'm definitely swinging with these guys. I'm thinking about playing Arbor, Elf, and Scavenging News. Do I need to leave Arbor, Elf up? So I guess, yeah, we'll just swing with these guys. So they have a flash creature now? I guess you could have Snapcaster Mage. Not much you can do with these color combo. Red, blue. Go Phantasmal Image copying Season Pyro. Be really good. I wonder if this guy was streaming and then everyone else got to see me bolt my own Arbor Elf. I forgot they have Imperial Recruiter. Gets another Imperial Recruiter. Alright, swing with everyone. Yep. Yep. Excuse me there. So I'll put out this stupid Arbor Elf to be a blocker, potentially, to try and save Ren. He's got another Imperial Recruiter. Yeah, he should recruit her for... Well, he can't recruit her for Mantis Rider. It's the only one this one can't get. It's another Recruiter. Because he's just trying to block here. There we go. Oh, let's see. One, four, five. All right, there we go. Going to game three. Blood Moon, too good. Just resubmit. A lot of people wonder why I don't leave Pillage in. Pillage is really narrow, even though I brought an Ancient Grudge. Um, pillage costs two more. Uh, got a mulligan this. Wow, what the fuck? I guess I'm going to five. Opponent also mulligans. Okay. Uh, this is pretty rough. Endurance and blood braid on bottom. Probably an Aether Vial here. Yep. Uh, 
Well, maybe we can still get him with the blood, the blood moon. I almost didn't cast my Arbor Elf. I'm, I'm really confused right now. I'm suffering from confusion like them Pokemon, right? The Thalia Guardian of Thraven. Meddling Mage. Naming. Is it Fury? Is it Lightning Bolt? Is it Blood Moon? Is it Bone Crusher Giant? How does that work? They got a name Stomp. Is that how that works? I got a name Stomp with Meddling Mage? I don't know. I've never tried to name Stomp. Lightning Bolt. Okay. Okie doke. Well. Well, I guess we take two, one less damage if I do it this way. All right, there you guys go. More blood mooning. I don't want to swing here with my Arbor Elf because we'll just bring someone in block and I can't even get Fury in. Because next turn I can potentially play Fury. And do some serious fucking damage. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think I'll just stomp now. Oh my god, another fucking different Thalys, Lieutenant. Fucking gross. Fucking nasty as fuck. Alright, let's see if I can get old Fury to do some serious fucking damage here. I'll take the three. Why do I have so many lands? Look at that shit! Fuck yeah! Alright, I'll swing for one here. Alright. This game's not over. I'm at 13. Opponent's at 18. Hopefully Fury can start swinging in hard. It's a three-turn clock with Fury. Yeah, that's always a problem when they got Mantis Rider flying in like that. And I keep drawing lands, because that's just particularly magical. They have another Mantis Rider. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck, man? Reflector Mage. God. Well, I mean, I think we just hold the stomp here.
at four. Now they know it'll be brutal if they have another different uh, reflector mage. Good draw there. Can I cast it? Yes. That was a good draw there. That was gross, though, Manure, but 100% gross. But luckily, I got this endurance here. So hopefully, we can surprise the shit out of them. Hopefully. Dude, what the fuck? What is this? Whenever you attack, you create a 1-1. One, one. That's pretty fucking nasty. But I think we got it under control. Uh, I'm going to send my own back. I don't want him getting back. All right! Yeah! <laughs> it dirts down the side! Right on. I made that as difficult as possible on myself to make sure I lost game one. And then here, I the deck made it as difficult. Look how many lands there are, guys. 11 cards out of deck. Remember, got to remember there was 12 cards out of deck because there's an Arbor Elf. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Half, I only got to play with 6 non-land cards that, that, uh, that match. Absolutely disturbing and gross. What's happening? I've got some leg there. That's true. I cannot thin the deck with the Blood Moon out. But, you know, the hope is that, you know, I don't run that many lands. I only run 20. I guess that's one out of every three cards I draw. It'll probably be a land, but still. You know, damn. Look like I got some good draws. Got that fury and then got that endurance to win. Woo! Man, he had a lot of reflector mages. What is this thing down here? So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Apparently I defeated Ari Lax. I'm going to look up Ari Lax right now. Ari Lax. Yeah. I yeah, he was best known for winning the 2014 Pro Tour Cons of Tarker. Won nine grand. He's had nine Grand Prix top eighth, including one win. It's a pretty impressive resume there. Uh, I managed to make day two once at a Grand Prix back in 2016 with Jund. I'm making that professional Magic the Gathering living. Okay. Uh, the only thing wrong here is I have two, two Clothis, but other than that, it's pretty damn good. I mean, it makes a Thought Seize proof since there's a Lurus here. Oh, nice. Aether Revolt, that came out of what? Dark Steel? 
Oh, Aether Vol Aether Revolt. I think he said Aether Vile. Aether Revolt. That wasn't that long ago. About the same time I did. Yeah, I was. I got day two. I know I was getting. It was fun because it was like day two is six two or better, and I started that tournament off seven and zero. Oh. Seven and zero. Oh. And so I was like, once I got my sixth win, I'm like, I made day two. And uh, and then I proceeded, guys, not joking. After I started off 7 0, I think I finished like 9 and 6. Something like that. 10 and 5, I don't remember. Day one, I just was like, just clowning on people. Get another forest here. Glad I had that fetch land, or I mean, I guess he's got a fetch land too, so. I don't know. We'll see what he wants to do. He doesn't fetch. That makes me wonder if he's struggling with lands here. Or he's just going to slow roll this Ragavan right now. Grixis Shadow, it looks like. All right, well, we'll eat that. Name red, I guess. Or should I name green? Eh, I'll name red. Well, Drown the Lock isn't going to do anything when I have a four-mana spell coming. Come on, Blood Braid! Blood Moon. Dr can't drown that either. I guess I should have ate my own Windswept Heat, but I'm thinking about like if he's got like Dragon Race Chandlers. Oh, he's just going to draw a card. Okay. You got it. Oh, and it lost haste. I didn't realize it would lose haste, too. Um, all right, guys, I hear my dogs, so I'm going to go check out what's going on with them. So I'll be back in just a second.
All right, guys, I'm back. Dogs are happy. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, let's make sure here. It's my turn. I couldn't attack. All right, it's his turn now. All right. It's rough having dogs, guys. I mean, you got, they're like babies. All right, just pillage that swamp. Got a revolt push, probably. find out yep all right hopefully he's only got one swamp a lot of uh, a lot of shadow players only have one swamp Devour that Death Shadow. Play the Season Pyro. Discard my redundant cards here. Wow, an unholy heat just out of nowhere. He kept it on top, whatever it is. All right, let's keep it going. He liked whatever he saw. More unholy heats. Or I should just eat the swamp. I don't know. I don't think so. Just keep pushing it. Right, he's at nine. I'm going to make some pyro tokens. Yep. What does this guy's face look like? It's like some sort of demon sorcerer. May have been able to function this much on a basic mountain. Sure. Ah, oh, what am I gonna draw? I wanna know. Scavenging ooze, even better. Hell yeah, brother. Okay, uh, Relic Regenitus in. Endurance in. Uh, pillage out. Pillage is generally pretty bad, but we caught him with their pants down there. Uh, maybe take out a couple Arbor Elves. I I'm kind of a fan of taking out like one Blood Moon, one Arbor Elf. I think like that. Arbor Elf just is very unlikely will survive. So we'll go with that. We got Grixis Shadow Luris. Nobody hardly plays these decks anymore without Luris, right? Like I think me and Reed Duke are the last guys left playing Jund. No, there was there's one other guy. I saw he did really well with Jund again uh, recently without Luris. You know, the best part about playing Jund without Lurs is you have Liliana the Veil. The card's still ridiculously good. Uh, probably can't keep this. Need a little more help than that. Apparently I'm not going to get any more help. 
Sanator, thank you very much for but Yes, that is him. <sighs> His hand is like slightly better than the last hand. Man, if he the card he needs to take away would be Utopia Sprawl. Right? If he thought seizes me. Because without that, then I have to draw into a red source to even be able to do much. I guess we take the risk. Or I go to five. I'll try five. No, I guess I'm going to four. Okay, that's actually a pretty good four. Put on bottom. Put on bottom. Put on bottom. For four, I'll take it. Going to three. No, oh, maybe not. Give me a bolt. Choice. All right. Well, at least we can maybe bolt this thing. I mean, stomp on it eventually. Maybe he'll take away a land for me. He'll probably take, like, Lightning Bolt or something. Eh, to cloth this, that's really bad if you can cast it. He should probably cast it if he can. I can't kill cloth this. That's not half bad. All right, let's see if I get hit by another Ragavan. He probably, I, I don't know. I mean, Clothus is an interesting choice as he wants to also have Death Shadow, right? I mean, he showed a shadow, right? <laughs> oh my god. What the actual fuck? Man, he's taking all my good cards. Feel like an exile, okay. Alrighty. So he knows I'm drawing this Clothus. I don't want to cast Clothus right now. Just isn't doing a lot. Gonna try and catch this damn Bragavan off guard. As long as you have like a Terminate or something. That's pretty damn good.
Uh, I guess I'll say no targets. Yeah, I'll send my own back. So here he need to have like uh, terminate unholy unless he has double unholy heat or something. He does shock there. His expressive iteration. What is this? Oh, what the fuck? Well, that was a pretty terrible draw. I mean, we just sit here now. I don't want to play my Bone Crusher Giant. I actually got a bolt. Okay, so if he blows it, so Clothis will survive because it's indestructible. Absolutely gross. I'm down to eight. This is where I need off the bail off. Alright, he's probably got multiple death shadows in hand. That's no good. What's interesting is the clothes will actually make his death shadows weak. I, I can't survive much longer here with these with this clothes against me. You cannot ignore it. You have to eat something if there's some available to eat. So what am I? Want to know? I forgot to update this. Wow. All right. And then a Death Shadow. Yeah. Oh, this is annoying. So during his main, we're, we're going to see what he targets with Clothus. Yeah, it's not. I mean, this is going to become a 1-1. One, one. But, I mean, it's pretty good against uh, me here. We're going to have to do this before... Okay, we're, we're going to have to tread very carefully here to get this uh, endurance to work. pick some out of his grave. I know that's impossible, but yeah, it 
Just gotta let it go. All right, when he swings here. Can't drown this. At least counter it. I mean, can drown even destroy it? I don't think it can. I really need to try and thread the needle against this Clothis. Fuck is this? Dress down? Oh. Yeah, I guess that works too. Well, his own shadow is going to die here. Fuck, that's a terrible fucking draw. I mean, I'm just dead as dead as all hell. The only shot I have is top decking um, scavenging ooze. That's all I got. <sighs> all right. Dead to my own Clothis. Had him all down to four and still took him all the way to turn eight to defeat me. Turn nine for him, actually. Oh my god, that was sad. What are my blood moons from? What set do I have online? Bond Masters 1? Is that 1 or is that 2? I don't know. But I do know that was sad. Let's hope they can get a better hand. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely keepable. One, two, three. It's got the nice curve to it. That looks like a thought sees. It's a thought sees. He may want to take like seasoned pyro. Yep. Takes the pyro. Here we go. Endless sadness coming up. So absurd. Just sitting here doing nothing. He's just waiting for uh, probably a blood moon here. That's what he's doing. If I get basic swamp. No, I get blood crypt. What an animal. Sure. Stomp here. Wow. 
Come on, Blood Braid. Utopia Sprawl. That is just particularly exciting. I'm going to let the Death Shadow player do damage to himself. Hurt yourself, dude. Yep. We got a disaster brewing. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands out of 14 cards. And this is how we lose the game, is that I'm not going to be able to kill this thing. Okay, I took an Arbor Elf. All right. Wow! Holy shit. All right, we try the Season Pyromancer tokens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten out of sixteen cards have been lands. He knows I'm drawing this card. It's a Season Pyro. I would assume this is going to be countered. But you never know. Oh yeah. Just waiting on the uh, player to damage himself more. There we go. Get himself down to nine. Play a four four shadow. Where's Clothis now? You like to see getting himself down to nine. Get himself down to seven. Wow.
What? God damn it, these fucking spell pierces out of nowhere from these fucking Death Shadow decks. Absolutely insane. Takes a clothe this. You gotta be kidding me. Probably a land now. Dude, what in the flying fuck? What is this fucking trash? Spyro is in yard, but I'm running out of options here. He can almost play, um, he can almost play Luris on the same turn he gets it back, and I'm in a lot of trouble if he does that. Yeah, we're probably dead now. Like, why would he even swing here? Yeah, we're completely dead. Unreal. Why does God hate me? Why does God want me to die? Clothes, pretty fucking late. I'm not going to do anything. Surprised he didn't cast uh, injured explosives for zero. Unfucking believable. Why haven't I died? And I have to block the 6-6. Six, six. He knows what I'm drawing. No, we don't have fucking outs. Oh my god, yeah, it was lightning bolt on top too. No, there's no outs. There's zero outs. I just need to, the only out is me opening up a casket and jumping in it and then burying me. It's the only way to get out of this hell that I always find myself in. Chandra doesn't do me any good. Chami does me any fucking good. I can still play Fury, but what's that's worth? <laughs> it's a land. How many lands did I get this fucking game? Let's take a good look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen cards out of twenty-four. So more than half. I don't know why nobody's killed me yet. Like, get, get, me, get me out of these fucking miserable situations. I find myself in every fucking day. This, just why? Why do I force myself to do with this? I 
I'm never going to play humans again. I'm never playing that deck again. I, I don't ever want to play humans again. I don't think it's bad. Like, I don't hate it. Like, I, I played against humans today. Literally, my one win was against Ari Lax, I guess. And um, he was playing humans, and I beat it with this deck, Ponza. Um, I don't know. I'm just not interested in humans anymore. I prefer mid range. You know, humans. I like the deck still. I think it's a good deck. I think it's fun, but I need to focus on the decks that I think I can play the best. Even though Humans is one of the decks I've had success with, you know. So, I don't know. I'm just, I, I don't really want to play Humans anymore. I want to play mid range, you know, um, stuff. But if, if I just keep decide to keep playing, you know, I mean. One and one. Struggling every day. You know, just, it's tough. Stompy 45. Yes, I'd like to go first. I kite treasure. Sure, that looks good. Blood rate on turn two, please. What's happening? We got some leg going on. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, what what normally happens here against this is probably blue white control. What normally happens here is a little prismatic ending my Arbor Elf. Um, but even if they do, we still have some plays. Opponent Mulligan's to five. So I wonder if this is blue-white control or something else. You don't see blue-white control Mulligan that much. Of course, the new one's mine. They don't play a lot of ops and stuff. Oh, it's just this deck. Well, I guess we're off to the races. Come on, Blood Braid. Sure, Season Pyro. I uh, need to discard things that make little tokens. Get another fury. Run, creatures, run. That's a lot of damage. It's... Okay. That's a really damn good draw. All right. So we got Char Belcher. I, I don't have Collector Oof, so there's almost nothing I can bring in. Uh, scavenging Ooze and Clothus are both awful. Uh, Cinder Vines is okay. Ancient Grudge is okay. Bring in one endurance. Is Blood Moon any good? I 
I don't even give a damn about Blood Moon, right? The only reason I'm bringing Endurance in is because they're, they're Flash creatures. Pillage is amazing. Nothing wrong with this. Need two turn turn two pillage ASAP. Let's see if he's got yeah, he didn't play it. No, here he goes. Yeah, there it is. See, they can kill me here. Well, I think we pillage and ancient grudge. That's some land destruction right there. My life total doesn't matter in this matchup. How could I be missing land draws? I thought this whole deck was lands. I'm very confused here. How can the deck, how can it be missing land drops? Like, I just don't even get it right now. I've got enough lands to make anyone giggle for joy. Well, I'm going to try and ultimate this Ren. All three of my pillages. That's like absolutely insane. Oh my god, this is nuts. There you go, there's a land. Oh my god! And he has Kahira. Right, I'm just gonna try and pillage the shit out of uh, him forever. Oh my god. 
wow, what the fuck, man. Look at this insanity. Look at this. Dude, what is going on? I can't find any threats. This is an insane game. This has to be one of the most insane things I've ever seen in my life. What in the hell is going on here? This is... Big Monkey, I'm glad you're here to see this. I'm glad you're here. Uh, there we go. I have I have an attacker. I'm particularly proud you're here, Big Monkey. To see whatever the hell is going on here. I have a 1-1. One -one. I can swing 20 times. Twenty turn clock. Well, that's something. Yeah, I wouldn't scoop a bar of them either. I mean, their whole deck is lands, right? It is absolutely not. At least this bolt speeds up the clock. What the fuck? Just keep swinging at him. I'm gonna see if I can save up five lands. How many lands is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I mean, all right, there's Blood Braid. Come on, Blood Braid, do something. Arbor Elf, <laughs> yes. All right, swing for three. Absolutely disturbing. This I'm gonna win this game, I hope. It's just by No! Oh my god! No! You sons of bitches! No, fuck. Well, now we're gonna try a different way. Oh my god. Just doing it for more... I took Clothis out so it doesn't make any sense. Ode. Can I find just about anything here? Alright, there's something. All right, so he's got another Fury. Whew. 
All right. It's another land. All right. Swing in for six. All right, now time for disrespectful double end phase bolt. Ah, what an insane fucking game and match! What the fuck? Oh my god! What the hell? Big Monkey, I'm glad you're here for that, man. I'm glad I didn't get to do that all by myself. My God, I'm glad someone else could feel that live with me. Holy crap. That was some insane bullshit. I don't know if I've ever seen a game like that before in my life. What the fuck, man? Good Lord. Wow. You could feel that one in your bones. That was insane. That was absolutely disturbingly insane. How many times did I pillage and bolt? I literally won just off pillages, bolts, and Ren and Six. I mean, that was ridiculous. Good Lord. That's one that I need to send our friend Reed Duke. I need to send that game, I need to clip that, make a video of that, and send it personally to Reed Duke and say, Reed, take a look at this. And he, I bet you Reed that would put a smile on his face. It'd probably also be a concerned look on his face saying, what happened to cause the game to get this fucking bad? But, you know, I'm glad I came out the winner on that one, man. Holy shit. Good fucking God. Oh, this guy was last seen just two days ago playing uh, Creativity. Just more combo for your hero here. Uh, no, I need a mulligan that. Uh, I'm going to mulligan this too. I'm going down to five. That's going to be great. Don't worry, guys. It's going to be fun. And... I'm uh, pretty sure this is just a dead game. I mean, put on bottom... Put on bottom. Hope to top deck well. Oh. Well, I guess we kill everything here. All righty. The only reason I did that was because of the stupid Esper Sentinel. If there was just like another Ornithopter, I probably wouldn't have done that. Folks, how did the ha you know, look at this. This guy is an 80 card deck. And look what he's able to do in in an 80 card deck. He's able to find two Esper Sentinels, a Spring Leaf Drum, a Cigarda's Aid, an Ornithopter, a Steel Shaper's Gift. In an 80 card deck. I can't even fucking find like a fucking bolt in what remains of a 53 card deck there. That is absolutely disgusting and absurd. What the fuck, man? That is some bullshit right there. Have you ever done seen something like that? That is some crazy bullshit right there. That is some horrible trash.
He didn't put it on? Why? Oh my god. Well, I'm ready for this. I do have pillage. There are three copies in the deck. Dude, what is this trash? How many lands is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of 11 cards have been lands. That's quality, folks. That It doesn't get any better than that. That is exactly how Ponza wants to lose. What the fuck? I've gotten so many lands the last two games. I mean, just an incredible amount of lands. An amount of lands that makes most people puke and shit themselves. Uh, Scadging, you can probably go out since this is not the Luris build. Uh, I would assume he's got like Urza Saga, so I'm kind of interested in keeping some Blood Moons in, but then again, I don't know. I just gotta leave him in. Take out a couple Clothis. There we go. Might just be Mono White, but I, I still refuse to believe he doesn't run Urza Saga. There's gotta be Urza Sagas in here. All right, let's see how many times I'm gonna mulligan this time. I guess zero times. Right on. Not much to do here. There it is. There we go. I think he's looking for some pure still paladin madness. So I think I like going Stomp on Giver of Runes. Go for blood braid here. Come on, blood braid. Do your thing. Blood moon. That's your thing, blood braid. Fuck yeah.
Ginger Brew, been a while since I've seen this. Well, Blubber Elf can actually block Ginger Brew. Gain three life. Bone Crusher. Add double red, pillage the hammer. Ugh, or I could pillage the land. See, the problem is if I pillage that hammer, then I can just place the guard as aid. I think I need to go after the mana. But then, of course, you could just top deck a land, right? I mean, uh, I think it's best here just to plus do double red. Uh. Yeah, I can't do everything here. If I minus kill the Memnite, Trying to reduce his mana by one there. All right, here we go. Because the other thought I had was I could plus and then use the pillage on the Memnite, but I, I want to save the pillage for the really troublesome artifacts. All right, just do it again. Well, that worked well. The Bloodbird cascading into uh, Blood Moon always is a pretty nice. Pretty nice deal. And actually, it's kind of hurt me for a little bit there because I couldn't un I couldn't untap one of those stomping grounds, so I was actually short of mana for red at least. This is extremely questionable. Like, do I keep this? I guess. I always forget this thing costs zero mana. It's kind of good. This is also kind of good.
What am I doing? It's always risky. <laughs> then I get a forest. Um, yeah, I think I'm pretty down just to stomp on Stoneforge. Just sit back. Okay. I think we say no. Play Bone Crusher. Hope we unload some creatures here and I can just kill them all with fury. I do have to be aware of if somehow something goes really wrong and I cast fury and I don't have another land, then, um, you know, it could be really bad. Pure steel. That's what I'm talking about. Pyro. I wonder if it maybe it's better to discard Fury. See if I can't draw into another. I need to find ways to destroy artifacts. Fury's not going to be doing that. Whoops, I forgot I didn't have Blood Moon, but that's okay. Okay, I think I die here.
Yeah, he just does. Yep. Fuck! Unreal. Fucking pure still. Just unbelievable. I keep losing this hammer time. Nothing. Finally a pillage. God. These guys are there. That's what I'm talking about right there. You see what I'm talking about? That's an 80 card deck. I always run into these 80 card decks. And it seems like they're running a 20 card deck. They always have everything all the fucking time. They never ever don't have anything. It's a fucking joke. Let's see if I can't go three and two. Sure. We've got a Lurus against us. This is kind of a bad hand for Blood Moon. Still not great. Yeah. So I'm going to try and draw. Is He's probably going to take Blood Moon. So I'm going to try and draw another land here. Well, I mean, we kind of need to kill that. Come on, another red source. Another different fury. I'm sure he's got another Ragavan. That is shocking. All right, there, we got it. Basic mountain here. Stomping ground there. Could use a scavenging ooze. What we got here? Sure. Oh my god, I need another fucking red source for this bolt. So I would assume with him doing that, that means that he probably has a way to remove this elemental token. Maybe he's hoping I didn't have anything to discard? I don't know. Oh, everything's a swamp. Wow, son of a bitch.
fucking swamp thing. Come on, Blood Braid. Harbor Elf. I can do some blocking. All right, so look at this death shadow in here too, going down to thirteen like that. Do that. He may have another call against command. Yeah. Why didn't he just do that earlier? He could have swung in and, I mean, I, I don't know. That, that's interesting play. Well, what do you know? I got some pyro tokens. That's exciting. Okay, so we block here. Block Turok. All right, need a uh, scavenging ooze right now. Scavenging ooze off the top. Land! Fuck yeah! Come on, everybody! Land! 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 That's all I fucking get is fucking lands. <clears throat> You can't fucking win when this happens. You just can't fucking even come close to winning. It's just what? What is this? Is that back to back lands? Yeah, it is. Back to back windswept heat. Absolutely disturbing. I mean, we gotta play it because we just don't want Kroxa discarding and making this Turok a 5 4. Right? I mean, I know I can win now. I mean, it is completely over. There's it's no possible way for me to win from here. We're gonna keep trying though. Look at this pyro is discarding nothing. Wow. All right, let's see what we can get here. Come on, Blood Braid. A scavenging ooze. A little late. A little late to the party. 
Is there any possible way I can survive? I mean, I can't kill the Kroxa. How many things do I have to eat here? One, two, three, four, five? Yeah, and he can turn on this den of the bugbear, right? It's four, so he turns it on. That comes in to block, block. Yeah, it's, it's just enough to kill because of the Kroxa. What a fucking waste. How can you possibly attempt to win games when your deck acts this way? Where it's just... Yeah, because the Kroxa is going to make me go down to one life. I can't block everything. so fucking frustrating you know it's just so frustrating just there's just nothing you can do differently it's just you're at the mercy of your deck i mean you're just as might as well put a bullet in a fucking revolver spin it and hope that he don't land on the fucking bullet it's ridiculous uh pillage is incredibly bad here and probably take out a couple blood moons eh. One Arbor Elf, one Blood Moon. We'll do that. It is so difficult for me to win when my hands are that bad and then my deck continues to fuck me in the ass. Like, this is okay if, if I can do anything with it. I kind of do like that Croaks art, though. It really stands out. I don't remember what the Earl one looks like. It's because when they announced that, they said Earl was getting banned. Remember that? When they had that secret lair with all the, like, Primeval, Primeval Titan, Croaksa, and Uro? They had a little disclaimer before there was even a ban list. They were like, uh, Uro is getting banned, so just beware if you're buying this. Yep, yep, yep. Let him surveil first. Keeps it on top. Uh, let him decide if he wants to take Pyromancer or not. He does want to take Pyromancer. Okay. Do I need to do that? I guess I will. Man, playing Chandra here is so fucking dangerous. I guess we say no. He knows I have a lightning bolt and a Chandra in hand. That's the deal. 
say no. Because if I play Chandra and then he Ragavans, it's just a, a disaster. Well, maybe it was not a disaster because he'd have to attack me. And I would leave the Chandra up. I don't know. Yeah, I just, I, I guess I should have uh, played Chandra. Play Chandra, I guess. No, because he would have just dashed this Ragavan. <laughs> the fine draw. All right. Assembling an army. Now let's see that uh, Colligan's command. No. Now let's see the Colligan's command. He's acting like it. Colligan's command here would be really good to get rid of this Blood Moon. Here it comes. Yep. All right, swing for two. Really could use scavenging ooze or endurance. Something like that would be helpful. Look at this guy, just still going for the non basics. He must not have many swamp needed cards or black mana. Again, I need help, deck. There's only, you know, seven cards that can instantly help me out here. There's seven cards in the deck. There's three Relic of Regenitus, two Endurance, and two Scavenging Ooze. If I could find those, I'd be grateful. Otherwise, I'm going to lose on the spot almost, deck. So can you do it for me, deck? I guess Blood Moon also works. Can you do it for me, deck? Can you get there for me? Can you do it, deck? No, you fucking can't, deck, because you fucking hate me. Just absolute fucking nonsense that this shit happens. I gotta hold this because I would assume Croaks is coming. So we'll swing in for the three. And then hold this Utopia Sprawl and try to figure out what to do from here. <laughs> you know, I mean, for real. I mean, what the fuck, man? Just absolutely fucking brutal that I can't fucking find anything to deal with the crooks in two games. Two games I can't find scavenging until it's, it's too late. And now I bring in five extra additional uh, grave hate cards and you literally can't find anything. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to hope that somehow, some way, I'm not quite sure how, I can p possibly come back from this. I personally don't think I can. Like, I just don't think it's possible. Like, I had opportunity, and it never happened. I, maybe I should have played the Chandra instead, but I think they just would have Ragavan, and then they would have taken, what, Blood Moon? Which I guess it wouldn't have been bad, but I'm taking Blood Moon. Think about, I also had Blood Moon I could have drawn into. There was two more Blood Moons left in the deck. That's nine cards. So he knows what I'm drawing. It's probably a land. It's most likely a land. Now let's take a good look at this land when I pick it up. What land do you think it's going to be, guys? Do you think it's going to be a forest, a fetch land, or a shock land? What do you think it's going to be? It's a Renin 6. 
that does absolutely nothing. I, I guess we make the croaks a discarded. I mean, I, it's not doing anything on the field. Interesting. I don't know why he's doing this. He's going to lose everything here. Well, except the croaks, of course. This doesn't have like first strike or something, right? No. I don't have any way to defeat Croaks except maybe Fury. Make him discard it. This is so fucking sad. No, JD, we're not going anywhere. It's one of the most pathetic displays of pawns I've ever seen. It's an absolute fucking joking disaster. And I'll kill this land too. I mean, what the hell? I, fucking shit. I gotta take fucking nine. You gotta be... You gotta be fucking kidding. I gotta kill this land. I'm, I'm going down to two. There's nothing I can do here. I have to let this thing slam into me. Go down to six. I mean, I guess we block that. We, I mean, we have to block that. It's something like that. I mean, because the next turn he'll make another one. And if I, I don't, I'm just going to do like that and take the four and just, there's nothing I can do to save myself here. There's absolutely nothing I can do. Again, just too late. It's just way too late. Because the Fury... Yeah, I mean, fuck this deck. I swear to God. I can't believe how bad this deck is sometimes. How is it possible that I have seven cards in the deck, 20 cards deep into this motherfucking deck, and I cannot find... Through two season pyromancers, any graveyard hate. I lost this game both mat both games on against Croxa. I, I never found a way to deal with this fucking card. So now if I if I block I'm just dead. Alright, okay, I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough It's a fucking joke. Every day. Fuck! How can you side in that many cards and not find one? This entire row here, this entire row here came in. Got nothing. Got nothing. Horrible, 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 horrible gameplay. Again, just terrible garbage. Again. Why haven't I been killed yet? Like, what is going on? Like, they just don't even stand a chance. How many lands in a row did I draw? How is that even possible? God, I just want to die sometimes. Just so I can quit playing this fucking game. So fucking frustrating. I found nothing. 
At that point, I still had two Blood Moons left, two Scavenging Ooze, three Relic, two Endurance. That's nine cars that could have prevented what happened to me happening. Game one, we'll give it a pass. Game one, we'll say, okay, I don't have enough in there to deal with Croaks. Uh, I got to get mad lucky, right? I got to get lucky. Game two is a completely different animal. I should have been able to deal with it, but I can't find it. 20 cards deep in the deck, can't find one graveyard hate. Think about that. Seven, nine out of like 40 cards. Well, about 43. Nine, 18, 27, 36. About a one in four and like one in four and a third chance, right? Something like that. And I couldn't find one for multiple turns. You said I found back to back lands. A Utopia Sprawl, a Renin Six, and then another land. That was what I got to get. So why does God hate me so much? Because I'm a piece of fucking shit, I guess. I can't wait to meet him and I'm going to ask him, why the fuck do you do this to me? Why do I draw so badly all the time? Why do I open up such bad hands all the time? I'm trying my fucking best. I'm trying my fucking best with what I'm given, with what the deck allows me to have, and it just isn't working at all, and it's just complete jokes that I couldn't find, I mean, I saw it coming for turns, please let me find Endurance or Relic or Scavenging Ooze or even Blood Moon, any of those work, any of those. I found nothing. It means nothing. Another disaster day. Another day where I'm going to go look at a tree and see if that's the tree I want to be found or whatever. You know, it's just, just fucking terrible. Just fucking ass just rip my own head off all right everyone that's it for today uh, i gotta stop playing this so anyways i'll see you guys all sometime uh shout outs here to jdx the kid big monkey uh manure butt feck gauge for watching live shout outs to uh uh, I guess I forgot to do this. 8-Bit Ma, thank you kindly for the follow. I think you already did. I don't know why you're making duplicate accounts, but thanks. Um, you know, just another disaster. Another day where I hate myself, and every day it gets worse. You know, every day I come on here, and I think I'm going to have a good time, and I just end up getting more enraged and more just, just an, a terrible thing. Now my wife's home. I'm going to be depressed around her. It's a terrible fucking shenanigans. So, anyways, guys, that's it.